Welcome back to the channel and it's been a while since I've done a mod review so mod review Monday and um, this is a mod I've been using for a little while now um, and I'm loving what it offers me and that's the grounded mod. So this mod is by Serena it is a PS4 mod originally and it's been ported by cordless to Xbox one available on all platforms and essentially it is the a reskinned version of concrete items. Now, of course, to get the concrete items, you're going to need Wasteland Workshop DLC, which is a very small DLC pack and it's pretty cheap. So, once you've got that installed, you can get cracking with Grounded. And um, it, as, as I said, it's a pretty easy mod to use. There's not a great deal to worry about, and we're going to show you anyway in a lot of detail how to use it and what it offers and so I hope you're going to like this one. Okay so here we are at um, Starlight Driving and um, let's show you where you will find the actual um, grounded mod. So you need to go to concrete. Now I have um, workshop rearranged on and the reason I have workshop rearranged on is my version of grounded is actually workshop rearranged compatible. So your menus may look slightly different to this but essentially they'll be grounded will be in the same place. So go to the concrete tab scroll right along until we find and it should be the last one the mod that says grounded and then you have um, four categories. You have landscape, arbor, caves, and deco. So we're gonna go through those one by one and I'll show you what's in each of these. So let's start with landscape and you have, you click up into landscape and you have a number of things that you can play with. You have the Commonwealth landscape, pre-war, blasted forest, northern foothills, marsh, riverbed, all kinds of stuff in the miscellaneous. Now, essentially, these, what Grounded is, is basically um, the mod author has gone in, or the mod developer has gone in and reskinned concrete pieces. So that's very important for you to remember. So let's, um, let's play with something we haven't played. So let's have a look at Glowing Sea. So what you'll see, and what I tend to do, you can see how you can't actually see that. If you put this into an object, like that, you can actually see what they look like. Might turn around, there we go, that's better. Um, and then you can just flick through and see all the different textures that are available in any one category. Um, I use the Commonwealth a lot. The Commonwealth texture. Now, if you look at the ground here, it's, you can. I generally this is generally what I do. I look at the ground like that and see, okay, which is the closest one that matches that? Not that one. Not that one. And the beauty is, you can see on the side what it looks like on the top, which is great. There we go. That's probably yep. That's getting close there. It's always good just to have a flick through and see if there's one that's closer. Either that one or the other one that we went past. And you can see there are a heap of options there um, for you to, to play around with. Oh, that might even, no, that's a bit too dark. So, um, I'll maybe use that one. I think that's perfect, but um, let me show you what you get. Let me show you what you get with each of these. So we'll pick that one. And so you have essentially what you have in the concrete tab. You have three different sizes here. Get to the last one in a second. So you have three different sizes. Now, the only thing is because it's been reskinned as a concrete uh, item, the foundation and the big one will uh, blend uh, very nicely. 
This one, however, the small one, let's see if I can show you. You can see it has a line and that can cause some issues, but I will show you kind of how to get around that um, in a little while. And so generally how I use this is I will put maybe a couple of foundation blocks down like this. And we'll get another one in a second. A lot of scrolling back and forward. I like to see these in sets, but I can understand why it's organized the way it is. So it would be very hard to put these into sets. There it is. Do that, do that. One more. Take these out. Grab this. Like that. Get another one of those. So there's a lot of scrolling back and forward, is what I'm saying. So be ready for it. There we go. And we could essentially put um, one of those foundations at the back if you liked. But suddenly you can start to build a little underground kind of area like that. Um, I generally, like I said, use the foundation blocks as walls. And I'll show you how everything else interacts with it in a second. If you need the small ones just to block up the um, block up the gaps or some unusual gaps, you can use those. So do some exploring in that. There's a whole lot of things that that you might need to use. You know, like these roads for sanctuary. Look at that. Very easy. Snap together. Just a whole lot of stuff there. So okay, we'll come back to arbor in a minute. We'll go to caves. And so caves has the same thing happening, but slightly different set. So you can see there's kind of floors and all kinds of stuff there that you can essentially snap. And that's the beauty of this as well. It will snap like that. And you potentially could put a floor in there like that. There you go. And so on and so on. And suddenly you've got a cave floor as well. And there's a ton of these. And they're all, as I said, they're all concrete meshed. You've even got these kind of pavers. So it's a, even with the concrete tab, if, if you wanted to experiment, uh, you could. Now, uh, the one I was going to show is decor. So we've got, we have a little bit of um, a gap at the back. So let's fill, start filling that. Now, one of the big problems you'll have with these is just finding somewhere to put them down. Once you put them down, you can either use um, the pillar, whatever your glitching method is, to place them. And just find, position it like that. Drop it in. And so it's, it's just a case of rinsing and repeating with this. Um, just a case of rinsing and repeating with this as you go. To build up that um, the whole area with your rocks. Now there's a, there's a number of these rocks available for you. Some are large, some are not so large, and um, so we will come back once we've got all these placed. And as you can see, this one doesn't. There we go. Usually, if you find a spot to place these, you'll place all the different rocks will place in the same place every time. If that makes sense, and so. You can see you just start to build up and you can do it fairly quickly as you can see like this. Now these rocks are available in a number of mods and um, again this is why I use the um, foundation blocks um, a little bit so you've got a buffer between there in your walls so that they're not poking through too much so we're going to spend some time just doing some of this and then we'll come back in a second so just as we finish up um, the beauty of these kind of rocks is that they are fairly soft so they do blend into each other pretty well just like that one of the tricks is to spin them around so they're not facing the same way. And so it doesn't look as obvious 
that they're um, that they're the same piece. I go down to shimmer all of this. Oh, accidentally deleted that one, but that's no problem. We just put it straight back in. It's pretty easy to do. And you can see if you combine a whole lot of these different elements together, you start to make a fairly seamless looking area and a little cave. I'm not going to spend too much time now. Um, there is also these kind of mud piles that you can put in. And again, they work the pretty much the same way. And it's all about trying to um, try to make it as seamless as possible, so it looks like it's part of the environment. There's a whole lot of those that you can play around with, in the same ways that we use the rocks. There is also these small rocks that you can kind of start to stack on top, like that, and um, you know, build up the overall look now, just a bit like that so the only thing you got to watch with with this is that the different time of rocks don't necessarily look the same you can see there's all kinds of stuff and uh, so explore those and um, these are all sidewalks so I don't know why they're in there so the only other um, the only other menu we haven't looked at is the arborist. And the arborist is kind of interesting. I like these because they've taken these kind of prefabs and they've reskinned them. You can see all these houses here. But they've added some vine kind of looks about them. So I've used this in the past and these will just snap like that. And it kind of makes a nice interesting little kind of um, look quite a different look that, that you can use you, know, you can snap some of these off if you like put some posts in and whatnot and it makes it a, quite a different look now the only other thing that I am going to show you and it isn't with the grounded mod but it's something that I suggest you think about and um, that's going to bug me so I'm going to quickly put a post in there. <laughs> yes yeah, because that's just going to bug me if I don't do this. There you go. So you can start to build a little underground area in here pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm going to get a set of ladders here. Um, I'm going to jump on top here and show you something else. Now, you can see, it, see up here it's looking pretty... It, that, it's not looking great up here. It's, I mean, it blends in, but it's, it needs some work. So my suggestion is that you get a mod that um, offers some grass and uh, start to put the grass in. And I'm going to cut to, um, I'm going to cut now to the build I've just done with the, the hideout bunker, and I'll show you how that kind of all works. So here we are um, in this surface, and you can see I was talking about those pieces before that, that are pretty obvious. So I'm using um, dead wasteland here, I think USO. There's a number of, I know um, Settlement Objects expansion has grasses, I know that USO have them. Find the mod that has these grasses. And just start to lay them down like this and they start to hide all those kind of lines and gaps and stuff. And then it just starts to build up um, the believability of the area that you're working with. And uh, makes it blend in seamlessly into your environment. So there you go guys, the grounded mod. This is a mod that I've been looking for, or a type of mod I've been looking for quite a while. So simple, it's not a huge mod. It uh, works pretty quickly and pretty easily. Um, and it will just give you more and more options in your building. It certainly has allowed me to do things I couldn't have done previously with my builds. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review. Um, thanks for supporting the channel as ever. And we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya.
sure you keep up with all the new content on Gaming for XP. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we'll let you know once we've uploaded anything that's new. See ya!